What's up, Bargain Family? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what to keep your eyes open for in February 2023. We got some high-end pieces, organizational pieces, some pieces where it's really shocking that Dollar Tree is carrying this right now. I don't even know where to begin because there's so many great items, but we're going to start off with these glass containers Dollar Tree has in right now. They are gorgeous for $1.25. I love the top with the heart. I love the light color. You can use these to organize so many things inside of your kitchen, inside of your craft room, endless possibilities, and I just think that they are great for the price. Next up, these wire rack systems. The rack itself plus the basket and shelf are each sold separately. There's two different sizes for baskets. When it comes to the shelf, you're going to want to bend it back a little bit to get it to hold stuff on it because with it being the way that it comes, things slide off real easily. Then there's these pieces that are like stationary pieces, clip pieces that pair really nicely with this. So I found these clips that have the same pretty copper type of color and then they have some really pretty pens in right now. They have eco-friendly cork and straw pens and they just look really, really nice. The ink inside of them is just like your average type of pen ink, nothing really fancy. They even have this little pencil holder that I like a lot and you can paint this a different color if you want to. I feel like these pens inside of there would look really nice. Like I said, there's a whole stationary section that is new with push pins and thumbtacks. There's paper clips that have that pretty copper color so make sure you check out the stationary section of Dollar Tree to find these new finds. I'm sorry but I was way too excited to find a galvanized metal vase in this shape at Dollar Tree. They always get the one that looks like a bucket. This is more of a um, squared planter like square at the top. I like it and then what's nice about it is there's no wording on it because I'm not necessarily a fan of the wording that's usually on these that just say like flower bucket or metal flower vase. Y'all when I saw these chickens, chickens of all things, I bought them right away. Look at look at this. How cute are these? So they have this gigantic farmhouse collection in right now. You guys have to check it out, especially if you love farmhouse decor. It is, it gives Hobby Lobby a run for its money. There's so many pieces in this collection, but I have to share with you guys some of my favorites. This farm to table sign is my absolute favorite. I love the little wooden piece right here. This reminds me of something I would see at Cracker Barrel, like sitting there when you enter or something like that. I think this is a great buy, especially if you like farmhouse decor. Then they have these like milk jars. It's just a sign. There's different ones and I chose the one that has a rooster and a pig. We have a fake cutting board sign. Again, different ones to choose from, but I went with the one that has a pig and it says oink. And then I found these pigs inside of the store. I swore this was baby blue. It's not. It's white. I, when I got home, I was like, oh, that's not baby blue, but I got this pink and this white pig. Then I found these farm animals, and these really remind me of the coffee table top decor pieces that you get from Hobby Lobby, except even on sale, they're not $1.25. So there's two different types of designs you can choose from. These ones have wording on them, and they're more like a metal piece. And then these ones are larger. They're more like a pressed wood, and you can DIY on top of these. Again, if you like the farmhouse decor, you have to check out Dollar Tree right now because I'm telling you it's a huge selection now you guys might be thinking to yourself Bethany I don't want to decorate with a bunch of cows inside of my house that say oink on top of them there's also some regular type of home decor this sign right here a dollar with this really pretty bow on the top just says welcome I found these wall hook hangers there's different ones to choose from you can put these in the entryway and use them to hang some things on top of it like your coat or a purse especially if you don't really have a lot of closet space or you don't even have a closet where you enter you guys, go to the Crafter Square section right now. Dollar Tree this year was like, you know where we're coming for Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, their throats. You guys, look at these wood beads. Wood bead wreaths. For $1.25, the color is already there for you because they do carry the unfinished wood bead wreaths. But look, right here, I love this really pretty brown color one. I don't have to stain the beads that are already there. This black one right here, you can make some gorgeous wreaths out of this. You can make wreaths that you can sell out of these for really inexpensive price to make them and then sell them and flip them for a little bit more. And then they also are carrying, like, look at this, look at this. It's these uh, bead garland pieces. Now these can wrap around the top of a bottle, around a mason jar, but this gorgeous one, this is my favorite one. It has these gingham looking beads. Oh my gosh. I have seen things like this 
at other stores for way more than $1.25. They have them in white, they have them with the gingham look, they have them brown, they have them in black. Totally worth the money. They even have monogram ones with letters people actually want because I don't know about you guys, every single time I go to Dollar Tree and they have letters you can buy, never ever can you find vowels. It's very hard to find vowels and you're always finding letters like Q, K, X, Z, letters that you don't really want. I was able to find this B and look at this. A great price. When I can find high quality crafting items at Dollar Tree, that's when I get the most excited. There's nothing that gets me more excited than that at Dollar Tree, other than like their Christmas collection of stuff. Right now, you will find these DIY faux wood boards. It's more like a press wood, and they come in, again, colors versus just that unfinished wood look and then you have to stain it or paint it. Right here, we got this brown piece that has a frame around it, a white piece that has a frame around it. Then we got the longer DIY boards, again, with colors. And then I really like that there's these little slabs or lines inside of it to make it look like slabs. You'll also find some thicker, smaller pieces, the same type of concept, again, black, white, brown colors and these would be great to make tabletop decor pieces or pieces to go on your mantle inside of a tear tray then they even have one with easels so you walk into dollar tree right now immediately you're going to see the valentine's day collection but a little bit to the side they're starting to bring in their spring items and they have a bee collection right now it is so cute look at these little planters i found with little bees on them. This is so adorable. And not only that, if you like gnomes, they have a gnome section with the little bees. Look at these tiny little gnomes that I was able to find. There's three different ones. These are so adorable. They even have these little gnome decor pieces that I think are absolutely cute. There's also like bee ones that don't have gnomes. It just says like quotes about bees or has bees on the pictures. I don't know how to put it. <laughs> Near those craft supplies, they also have these mini mason jars. And I was so excited to see these because I've made these crate pieces from Dollar Tree before where these mini mason jars are gonna look really nice inside of it. Another new great craft item from Dollar Tree are these wood slices. I have purchased wood slice things like this before for my wedding and they cost way more than $1.25. It's way early, but Dollar Tree is not wasting any time in bringing out their Easter stuff. They have a big selection. A lot of the stuff I have seen last year, I'm assuming come closer to May, they're gonna bring new items out. But there were a few new items I was able to find this year, and I did pick up a few pieces. So I got this DIY Happy Easter sign. I think it's a really good size for the price. Then I got this smaller, it's supposed to be what I assume is a wreath with these wood beads. Make sure you have all the wood beads. I didn't notice I was missing one. They brought back the garland. So they had this last year at Dollar Tree. Really pretty colors. They have an orange and green one. I like this kind of cotton candy colored one. And these are a really good price. And they're long. I don't normally decorate for St. Patrick's Day. But I wanted to share with you guys some of the collection right now. I really like all of the rainbow pieces. And they got quite a bit of that. And I like just how colorful it is. I wanted to highlight the gnomes they got in right now. The gnomes are big. And they are really Really, really cute. I think this is a great section to check out if you decorate for St. Patrick's Day. These clear bathroom organizers Dollar Tree has carried before in the past. However, they are bringing them back in. I've seen them at all the stores near me. These are amazing for organizing inside of your bathroom. They look just so chic and you can make them look even more high end just by like gluing maybe a knob or a marble on the top of some of the containers or adding some water beads to make it look like when you get the brushes from Sephora, like some type of nice design like that. Check out the Valentine's Day section for beauty supply items, you guys. I found these brushes that are so nice, and not only are they nice, good quality, they have fake sprinkles inside of them. You guys know I love fake sweets on this channel. I DIY them a lot. I thought these were so cute. I was like, you know what? They probably put these out just for me. Not really. Then there's actual makeup with a dessert theme. So I got a dessert bronzer and a dessert bronzer plus blush, sorry. And I just love the theme of these. And then I found these lip balms, really pretty packaging. So I got all four that they have because I want to make a basket out of these. Near the bronzer, there's some other sweet themed makeup. So there are lip glosses, lip balms, a lip scrub. They are so cute and they each have their own little theme. So whether it's donuts or s'mores, I just think it's absolutely adorable. It's something to keep your eyes open for. You guys, I had to take my jacket off. I'm in that part of pregnancy where I get so overheated. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, please leave your favorite animal emoji in the comments below. Your comments help 
my videos do better and my channel grow. So it means a lot to me, especially if you do like this channel to help just support it. My favorite is definitely the little dog. So like I had said, I wanna do a Valentine's Day basket using those lip balms. So I purchased a few more pieces to go in that basket. Bolero has this uh, collection right now that goes well with the Valentine's Day items. And then there's this part with the cutest little pieces for your nails and then for applying um, makeup. So I got this heart that looks like a lollipop. It's actually a pumice stone. Then I got these makeup sponges that are in the shape of a heart. And then finally, I got these heart nail filers. So I'm gonna put these all inside of a basket from Dollar Tree and make a really nice piece. In the Valentine's Day section, you can also find these measuring cups that are so, so freaking cute. So if you do a charcuterie board, a Valentine's Day charcuterie board, you can actually place these inside your charcuterie board to make it hold things like M&Ms or sprinkles and it would look really, really nice. Or you can do a basket that has a baking theme to it. I have found the red ones in the past, but this is the first time I was able to find the pink ones. Something they're bringing back with their spring collection are their garden fences. These are great for crafting. Let me tell you guys, you can do so many nice decor pieces with these. Dollar Tree has floating corner shelves in right now. I was only able to find them in black, but I bet you they have them in white. I actually have some floating corner shelves inside of my son's room. It's holding the Toy Story collection. I really like using these to display more collectible items or to actually use inside of like a bathroom to organize and have more space for some of my products. In the stationary section, I found these pencil holders. And what I like about them is the color. It actually reminds me of the 70s, but I really like that they are gold and pink. So this pencil holder, I would actually use it to hold makeup brushes. And then this one right here, you can glue a few together, make a bigger piece, but this is great for holding pens and pencils and even, you know, makeup inside of there. I found these glass vases from Dollar Tree that look high end. I really like the shape of them. You compare these with some coffee table books and I think it would look really nice. And then I found this wax warmer that has this face and this really just reminds me of like people who have the really nice minimalist high end luxury looking houses. They always have like these like faces and that's what it reminds me of. And I was like, oh, if you're looking for something like that, $1.25 at Dollar Tree. If you have a Cricut or something similar where you're using vinyl, Dollar Tree finally got this vinyl weeding tool in. I have used the nail polish holder one from Dollar Tree to weed vinyl before, but this is specifically for that. And let me tell you, it really works. It can stick to a surface. And what you do is you take your little weeder with the vinyl and you just scoop it out to get it off of the little weeder. It makes it really nice and easy. I think this is awesome that Dollar Tree is carrying this now. If you have children, I recommend checking out these globe lights from Dollar Tree. They almost look like moons and they're really fun. They just change colors and they keep your kid entertained for a while. I wanted to include this toy in here because it's a seal. These Buzz Lightyear Hot Wheel toys. Hot Wheels can cost around a dollar. The price has gone up really like around a dollar and 25 cents in all stores. However, these particular ones, these ones you will find for $4.99 normally. Usually when it is something that is themed after a movie, specifically a Disney movie, these ones retail for $4.99. So I thought it was a really good buy, especially if you have kids that are into that movie. Finally, I have a few pieces to share from the health section of Dollar Tree. So I found this seven day pill organizer you press the middle and it spins the pills around and I really like this because right now I'm taking so many I'm actually taking medicine for my pregnancy and then my prenatals so this is really nice to have and then I found a thermometer and I was actually excited about this because of the price and I've been wanting a thermometer to put in Cooper's diaper bag because sometimes we're out and about and it's like oh he feels hot does he have something so this is a dollar 25 cents I think it's really worth it so that's what to keep your eyes open for this February 2020 23 at Dollar Tree. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you do, make sure you leave a comment. It really helps my channel out. Give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button. It's so repetitive if you really want to be notified when I upload. Don't know why YouTube does that. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. I will see you next time. Take care. Bye. Now I'm going to go sit in front of an AC. Bye.